the roof of the tower immediately had a very specific shape and character in my mind. Once again, I am looking for a technique to speed up the work on the shingles. In addition to the silicone mold, which allows me to clone large portions of uh, linear roofs, I need easy to cut roof tiles to adapt to particular shapes, such as a quadrilateral pyramid. created four identical isosceles triangles, joining them with masking tape. I then added some lower wings to make the general shape less banal. At this point, I have the base on which to insert my strips of shingles, not without first having inserted some wooden beams to better highlight the broken shape of the pyramid. I also use a piece of XPS foam to give the four dormers the same height cloned from GW's fortified manor. I use PVA glue for the shingles. It allows me a better arrangement of the pieces, a little patience and the roof is ready.
for the last portion of the tower I used a proxon technique that allowed me to save a lot of time. First, I align my foam slices, then I go to engrave the space between the bricks using the low temperature hot wire. In the end, just rotate the slices to get an alternating brick pattern. aluminum foil for texture and PV glue. The top of the tower is done. For the positioning of the roof, I'm going to insert a wooden stick in the center. This roof will remain in this modular way, allowing combinations with other elements of the fortress. Now I proceed to enrich the tower with further details. All these have been cloned with the technique that I have illustrated in the video that I suggest you watch here, in the box at the top right. I use pieces of beams engraved with XPS foam and finally I can create the small barracks attached to the tower with a bit of XPS foam cut to sides and enriched with the beams and details.
we are ready for the painting session. First, I covered everything with acrylic black paint, Mod Podge and water, also using baking soda to fill some cracks and give a better texture. The color scheme includes a series of shades of grey, from the darkest to the lightest, and the basic coloring of the wooden parts and walls. All this is to be considered very basic. At the end of the entire fortress we will proceed with a greater attention to detail throughout the piece. Okay guys, this is it for today, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you like this video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel, this community is growing guys and it's up to you, help MaxDM Crafting grow and do better and better. You can support MaxDM Crafting through Patreon or Paypal, follow the links in the description box below and if you buy something on those links that are in the description box, those are affiliated links by Amazon, if you buy through those links nothing will change for you guys, I will just receive a little percentage on your purchase. Till next time, happy crafting!